baseball, you're going to see a bunch of crazy stuff. I give Rutgers all the credit in the world. They're not going to quit, man. You can see in their body language all week, they're here to fight. And they kept battling and, and got back in the game. And, yeah, it's, it's hard to win. It's hard. College baseball's hard, man. And our guys kept fighting, took a big punch there, could have been a knockout blow, and kept it together and found a way. Alvarado, I mean, that guy really, quite honestly, doesn't really know what he's doing at the plate right now. He doesn't feel very good. And to stay disciplined and, and keep battling and keep fighting, you get rewarded when you do that. And uh, that was a big knock. What's Alvarado been struggling with? It's baseball. It's a season, you know. I mean, uh, you just, you're just you going to have times where you feel good. You're going to have times where you feel bad. And it just happens. There's nothing you can do about it. You're at the mercy of this game. When it decides that it wants you not to feel good at the plate, it's going to do that to you. So you just embrace it. And then you know in those moments, hey, you're scratching claw from whatever everything you get. He's getting a hit here, a hit there, a walk, putting the ball in play with two strikes and getting an error. And when you do that, when you have that kind of mentality, you get rewarded. That is rewarding right there. Is there, a, is there, is there something about this team that kind of a, the way they're built allows them to shake off that eighth inning and kind of regroup a little bit? Because, I mean, it was a little bit of a, a, little bit of a shock to the system, I'm sure. Oh, it, that was not just a shock. That was a straight jab shot right in the nose that could knock you out for good. And, you know, it's it was uh, one of those things. It's like, all right, next pitch. So that's why we talk about you can't control it. Some weird bounces, you know, just – just a weird game, and, and that happens sometimes on, you know, Sundays we're trying to get a sweep and things happen. Oh, we gave up a three-run homer into a 48-mile-an-hour win. I mean, come on. And it's like a dude on the mound. It happens. So what? Let's go. Next pitch. What, what do you tell him to, to bat Alvarado, like, to keep him up and to keep him up? Oh, probably different things than I would have said to him as a freshman. Now you have normal talks with him. I mean, he, he comes to me. He's like, Coach, I, I feel terrible up there. You know, it's like, all right, let's talk it out. What are you feeling? Like, you, that's that that level of building relationships. And the younger guys, they probably don't understand what they're doing. So you might be a little more directive and, and tell them what to do. Luis is like, you know, we're going to talk it through. And, you know, he's at the point where, you know what, gets down to it, just try and win pitches and just, just battle and put a ball in play and see what happens. And, you know, he did it. It was beautiful. Getting to that point in the season where momentum can do a lot for a ball club, what's a win like this and a series like this do moving forward? Uh, I mean, it builds confidence, I guess, but honestly, those guys probably already forgot about the game. They're thinking about where they're going to go eat right now, and, and they're so excited to have tomorrow off, or they're probably going to sleep pretty much the whole day. So let's let's just get them rested up, and, and you know what? Play some video games. Enjoy yourself. Relax. Stay out of trouble, and uh, we'll have a little practice Tuesday morning and get ready for Wednesday. How He's good. Yeah. I mean, these guys, they're, those guys grind out at bats, and I mean, he's at – what, he's at 80 pitches in the eighth. I mean, that's pretty good. You know, he's still in well-manageable pitch count, so he's, he's just a grinder, man. And, you know, we take, again, you, then he makes a play down the line and he goes to first base and the ball comes out of his glove. You know, that's that's an out right there. And the ball ever hit to Schlepp, you know, he almost takes his head off, you know, in a hop. That could have easily just been right to him, you know. And so it just things happen. But, yeah, I mean, give him credit. They kept fighting. Chad got three outs in his first three pitches and then was able to close out the ninth. How big was he today? Yeah, I mean, Chad's a big part of what we do. And, and you know, he's he, when he's pounding the zone with his fastball, it's, uh, he can be very effective. And guys are going to be aggressive against him because they know he's going to throw a lot of fastballs. And he's got the squirrely bird fastball that dives all over the place. So, you know, they're going to be aggressive, and we're going to try to get grown balls. Has he gotten stronger, has he gotten stronger coming back the second day and weekends? I mean, it seems like that's gotten more, more comfortable for him. I think you're right. I think that stuff's probably sharper the second time out than it is the first. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's just, he works so hard and he's strong as an ox. And he's just built to, you know, we saw it last year too. He maintained his stuff. But, you know, he had what, one, one week and he pitched all three games and threw 22 pitches. You know, he's just, he's built for that kind of thing. And, and uh, yeah, he's a baller. That meeting so, on the mound before that, was that about four records home run? Was that about matchups? Was that about thinking about that's giving him a breather. No, that, that's his last hitter. You know, left on left matchup. I mean, look at the guy at the play. He's hitting 170 against lefties and hitting 380 against righties. You know, so it's like, you know, we got our guy in the mound. It's his game. Let's go. And, you know, I don't think I saw a homer into the wind happening, but that guy getting hit, he's got power. And so what? You know, it happens. That was his last batter, and Chad was going to be ready for the next guy with the right on right matchup. Uh, but, you know, again, that's on, I mean, if you want to blame anybody, blame me. I made the decision, and that's. Hey, there's no second guessing in the game of baseball. You you do what you trust, your gut. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I'm going down with our dude on the mound. Our dude's wearing number four. And you said that this was going to be maybe the most mentally grinding week, that weekend that they had just because of the finals. How'd you feel now that the weekend's over? How'd you feel they responded to that? I thought they did great. 
You know, they came out, you know, four nothing first and third, nobody out in the second inning. We got a chance to to really put, you know, some some nails in, and and, and uh, we had a couple of kind of non-competitive at bats, and then they come boom right with a two spot. We could have got two more runs there. That was about a four run swing in between the bottom of the second and the top of the third. So you know, we, we did a good job of coming out. I thought we could have had a couple better at bats there, but uh, again, we put a couple ones up in the middle, and then you take the big blow, and and the momentum's on their side, and they're in the salvage mode, and and we could have lost all our energy, but. The boys just got to the next pitch, did their thing. Coach, the last time you played Creighton, I don't want to say effort, but you weren't pleased with your team's approach, I guess. What does this what does this week bring, I guess, in terms of a test for them? Yeah, Creighton's playing great baseball. It'll be a fun matchup. Hopefully we get some decent weather and get the rain out of the out of there, out of the forecast. So, you know, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll regroup, let these guys rest up. I'm not going to talk to them about any game until, until Tuesday. So they, they have a well-deserved rest after grinding it out a whole semester of school. And now we'll get them rested up and get ready for practice on Tuesday.